Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? <laughs> It's been a little while since I've been able to upload a video, but today we have a quick video that we're going to go through called El Superlativo, and it's the superlative, and that's why we have the best ever here. Okay, guys, this is really a quick review. So if you're studying the superlative, this is kind of condensing and give you, giving you some quick practice to go through. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, what is it? So when you say the most, the best, the worst, the smartest, the fastest, um, this is what the superlative is. There is no comparison because you are either the most or the least, the best or the worst. So this is a little bit different. You usually learn the comparison, the comparative with the superlative, but they are quite different because the comparison is when you say this uh, water tastes better than this water. This person is taller than that person. Um, but the superlative has no comparison. It's the best. So this person is the best swimmer in the world. Uh, this, these clothes are the pinkest I could find. That type of thing. Okay, so there's no comparison. So to give you some examples, oh, by the way, just a quick note, she is the least favorite person of the class. You cannot have leastest and he's the best, you cannot have bestest. So uh, these have two separate forms, so just be aware of that, that there's always an irregular form floating around there, of course. So some of the basics, the, con the construct is usually an article, which is el or la or los or las, and then we've got our noun, mas, adjective, and then de. If, and again, the de is kind of optional. If you already know what you're talking about, you don't necessarily have to use it, okay? And we're going to see how that works. Or it can be the article menos adjective or article noun menos adjective de. Okay, so we'll go through all of those, don't worry, but it can be as little as three components or five. So one El es el hombre más interesante del mundo. He is the most interesting man in the world. Okay, um, and you can see we've got in this case the article el hombre is the noun. Más, your adjective is interesante, which by the way does change depending on the gender and the singular versus plural, and then del mundo. All right, so you could also say Juan es el, es el más interesante del mundo. So he is the most interesting in the world. So let's say you're sitting around talking about men, and then you just say uh, Juan es el más interesante. He's the most interesting man in the world. You don't have to have del mundo. Juan es el más interesante. He is the most interesting. But that does require you to understand he's the most interesting what in what context. So just know to remember that language is all about context. Okay, so here's another example. María es la mujer menos grande de la clase. All right, so she is, you can see the construct, la, article, mujer, noun, menos, and then your adjective is grande, and then de la clase. Uh, another example, María es la menos grande de la clase. So we are maybe talking about the women in the class. So we don't have to say mujer because we've been talking about le, las mujeres, las mujeres. And you could say María es la menos grande de la clase. Or if you're talking about women in the class, you could say María es la menos grande. Because you know you're talking about women. You know you're talking about la clase. And so it just depends on the context. Okay, here are some graphs for those graph people out there. Remember, there are always three to four components. We have your article, the noun, which can be omitted, más o menos, and your adjetivo. Um, 
And so we have el hombre, some examples, el hombre más grande, el caballo menos lento, la niña más liviana, la tortuga menos rápida, and, and, and you know, on and on. Remember, los gatos más inteligentes, inteligentes. Notice how you've got that change between the el and the la and the los and the las, okay? So el caballo lento. La niña liviana, because you have to change that O to an A, okay? So, los gatos más inteligentes, las tortugas menos lentas. You could say los gatos menos lentos, okay? So, just remember that the adjective has to change, guys, all the time. Uh, second, remember that if the article is feminine, well, that's what I just said, la más rápida, el más limpio. So, este animal es el más grande. Esta camisa es la más roja. Estos perros son los más pequeños. Estas camas son las más caras. María es la mujer más guapa. Or we could say Juan es el hombre más guapo. Okay, um, mayor means the oldest, so we don't have to worry about um, más o menos with that, but we'll do other exceptions later. Practicamos un poco. Nosotros más pequeños. So basically, we are the smallest. Okay, we are the smallest. How would we say that? One, two, three, four, and five. Nosotros somos los más pequeños. If it were feminine, be nosotras somos las más pequeñas. And I put the day there to remind you that we can put something after it. If we need inf more information, nosotros somos los más pequeños de la clase, for instance. Ellos menos inteligente. Okay, so how, what are we going to do there, here? They are the least intelligent. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro y cinco. Ellos son los menos inteligentes, again, del mundo, de la clase, de la escuela. All right, remember, we've got to have that S there. Las niñas. Menos difícil. Las niñas menos difícil. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Las niñas son las, ma las menos difíciles. Difíciles. We have to get that accent off there. And of course, we have the de there as well. El gato más loco. He's basically the, the least crazy cat of the house. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. El gato es el más loco de la casa, for instance. All right, little, a couple more. Otra vez, nosotros, this time we're going to do the entire thing. Nosotros estudiantes más pequeño clase. So we are the smallest students in the class. Unlike English, they don't have to, they don't have the um, bigger as opposed to the most intelligent. You know, we have different ways of saying things. Sometimes we say the most of, and sometimes we just add the er to it. All right, unos dos tres cuatro cinco. Nosotros somos los estudiantes más pequeños de la clase. And our last one, ellos, hombres, menos inteligente, tienda. So they are the least intelligent men in the store. I'm, this is not in some kind of commentary, guys. It's just trying to work with really simple adjectives, so... Please forgive me if it's offensive. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco.
And we have, ellos son los hombres menos inteligentes de la tienda. Okay, we're going to leave one another for the moment with a couple of photos from Medellín. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps. Hasta la vista.